Hey, cats, what's happening? It's your old friend Itchy. You know, uh, taking a little vacation, uh, taking a break, <clears throat> just chilling at uh, Dillon State Park in uh, uh, about central Ohio. And the noise you hear in the background at the state park today are the 17-year uh, cicada. These things are everywhere down here. Because if I sit here long enough, I'll probably have one land on me. But uh, we knew they were coming. We just didn't know when and we didn't know how many. But they're here now. And they're here in abundance. So, <clears throat> you know, I look out over the woods there and You'll see them flying around once in a while. You see them caught in webs. Some of them are alive. Some of them are dead. Uh, you'll see them crawling through the grass. I've seen them up here on the side of the trailer. Uh, they're everywhere. And the noise, you kind of get used to it after a while, but it's loud. I mean, it's it's pretty... You, you can hear it. I'm sure you can hear it humming in the trees. It's crazy. So this is our unit. We're pulling it with a uh, 1500 Silverado, and uh, we have the Forest River Hemisphere Light. This is a uh, 272RL model. It's got two slide outs. It's got the uh, the canopy comes out outdoor kitchen uh, comes with a grill the gas grill actually attaches to a hinge on the back bumper but because I parked so close to the tree there I couldn't swing the arm around so I disconnected it and it has its own little stand that it sets up on and it connects underneath to the gas um, I wouldn't say it's the most ideal gas grill I've ever used. It only seems to heat up over on this side. And this side, I can almost put my hand on it. So, you know, the <clears throat> gas feeds in here, and it seems like most of the heat is, like, right here. And it doesn't really, the flames hardly even get over to this end at all. I was holding my hand on here like this when it had been burning for about 20 minutes. So, it, uh, takes you a while to cook anything on it. I wouldn't say it's the most ideal grill I've ever used, but it, it works. Give you a little view of the campground. Believe it or not, our neighbors here uh, live just right up the road from us, and we didn't even know that. We we don't know them. 
Um, and we just met when we got down here to find out that they came all the way down here uh, and they live just a mile or two away from us. That's pretty cool. Restrooms right up there in the pines on the hill. Uh, and this is just one of the loops. There's uh, a lot of campground loops all over the place here. But that's our rig, 34 foot from one end to the other. Ideally, ideally, it would tow with a, a little bigger of a truck. Uh, the Silverado does a pretty good job of tugging it down the road, uh, but it's right there. Um, I wouldn't want to pull it with anything smaller, that's for sure. It tugs the truck around, so I think when we upgrade, we'll go with a 2500, a little bigger model, uh, something with a little, maybe a little longer wheelbase. Give us a little more stability on the road. But it pulls this unit pretty good. Um, we, we pulled a couple grades and it, it bogs down, it slows down going up the grades. But uh, I'm pretty comfortable with it. At first I was nervous pulling it first trip, but uh, this trip we moved along pretty good and I didn't have any trouble at all. I, I felt much more at ease, much more uh, relaxed on the road. And we took it on some pretty windy, twisty, hilly roads, too, so it was interesting. <laughs>